Hey guys, it's Katie. I thought today I would do a video of everything that I got for Christmas and I got quite a lot of stuff. I was very spoiled this year. I think I'll show you the first thing that I got, which I'm actually wearing right now. It's this um, dress. <laughs> That's the top bit and it's just like a bodycon dress. It's from Boohoo and I really like it. It's, it's just cute. It's a little bit on the boob side, kind of you know, but you just gotta go with these things really, haven't you? Um, I also got another dress from Boohoo from a dad and it is um, it's a swing dress it's just a black one like three quarter length sleeves and I've tried this on and it is really nice but it looks better when you wear it with a belt I find, but what it is with a belt is really cute I noticed that all of the clothes I got this year are black. I, I'm not a particularly gothic person, but I guess I'm kind of into black lately. The last thing um, item of clothing I got is a top from Boohoo also. It's quite similar to the dress I'm wearing with the lacy bit. And it's quite like fluttery at the bottom and it's long sleeve. And I think it's going to look super cute. So I'm very happy with those outfits. Okay, so here I've got like a giant box of all the makeup I got. Um, it's a lot of it. It's a lot of it. So the first thing I've got is from Urban Decay. It's their eyeshadow primer base. Is that what it's called? Eyeshadow primer base. Um, primer potion. And I haven't used this yet. As you can see, it's still in the wrapping. But I'm so excited to try it. Um, it's one of those things that it's just universally liked across YouTube and blogs and all that stuff, so I can imagine I'll probably quite like it. Next thing I've picked up is <laughs> the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I think this is in shade Siberia, just the lightest one, which is perfect for me because it's so damn pale. And wow, I'm a little bit in love with this. Like. This stuff is really expensive, so I'm so like grateful that I've got this. And I, I just want to bow down to it. It's just amazing. I've used it once, and it was really good. The colour match is just so good. I've never had a foundation that's matched as well as this one. It's just really good. Next, I have a nail varnish that came in a little pack with something else that's in here. Um, it's by Ted Baker. It's like a kind of pale pinky kind of like French manicure colour and I have not tried it yet but I'm quite excited to. I only got two nail varnishes this Christmas so I don't know which one I want to try first. Next I got this Too Faced Candlelight Glow and it is a highlighter and it is gorgeous. It has like a white kind of highlight and a pink kind of highlight. I don't know if you could use that pink as blusher, I think it's a little bit too um, of a highlighty kind of formula to really use it as a blusher. But um, you can also mix them together and I'm using it today I think, which you probably won't be able to see, but whatever. And I love it, it's amazing. You're supposed to swatch these things, aren't you? There you go. <laughs> I also got a blush from Makeup Revolution. It's a vivid baked blush in the shade Loved Me The Best. And I'm a little bit annoyed that um, when this got delivered, it kind of came out like a huge mess. It's all crumbly, but, um, which is a little annoying, but you know, you can still use it a bit. I know there's like loads of like videos and stuff about like, how you can like fix these things, but I don't know, I feel like I'll probably mess that up somehow. Even more. But yeah, this is a quite a cute little blush and I like it. I think I'm wearing that today as well. I still somehow managed to use it, despite the fact that it's fallen apart. Next, I have another foundation. This is a gosh one. Ex uh, Goss Exceptional Wear Foundation in the shade 11 Porcelain. And I'm wearing this today, actually. And um, I'm surprised that it is actually quite light. Like, I was wearing this would be really orange. Um, it's not like ridiculously pale but like it's pale enough to use and not look like an idiot <laughs> um so i really like this and now i have like a good pale drugstore foundation and a good pale high-end foundation so i'm happy about that next i have a mac lipstick 
and this is in the shade Instigator and it's a very dark plum purpley colour and I wore it yesterday and it's amazing <laughs> I'll swatch it that's what it looks like it's amazing I love it it's just I'm really into like dark lipsticks lately and it's just great and it smells like vanilla I can't believe I have a MAC lipstick now I'm one of those people that has a MAC lipstick I might as well show you the other MAC lipstick I've got and this is in the shade Sin and it's a dark red colour uh, here we go that's what it looks like and I'll just swatch that as well that's what that one looks like, the red one and I have yet to wear this on my lips, but I am quite excited to see what it looks like on my lips. Next, I have a little miniature mascara from number seven, the intense volume one. And I got this in one of those little Christmas cracker things, you might have seen them in boots. And it also comes with an eyeliner, but I will show you that very soon. And I have not tried this yet, but I am excited to try it and see if it is really intense volume or not. That's what the wand looks like. I might as well show you the other half of that gift um, Christmas cracker thing. This is an M7 Stay Perfect eyeliner pencil and uh, it's a black one obviously and that's what it looks like and I accidentally smudged that when I put it on, sorry. Yeah, but it is quite pigmented as you can see and again I have not tried this yet but I am excited. I have high hopes. I've also got two other eyeliner pen pencils. I have a white Barry M waterproof something or other <laughs> eyeliner pencil and I'm wearing this today on my bottom waterlines and it is very very pigmented, it's very bold, I really like it, although I'm not, um, when it comes to white eyeliners I have a little bit of struggle with them and like just trying to get it to look nice and neat, I find that I often get bits of mascara in it or bits of black eyeliner in it, any like tips and like how to apply like white eyeliner would really be appreciated. Um, I also got another Barry M pencil and this is a black one and again it is also very pigmented and it glides on very smoothly and I'm wearing it on my uh, top waterline as well so I'm quite impressed with these Barry M eyeliner pencils they're very nice, I like them next I've got a H&M lipstick it's cream lip colour and what the package looks like. And I got this from my uncle um, and it is a very very bright pink colour and it's quite dramatic but I'm all about that. I'm all about that life. Um, that's what it looks like swatched. It's very pigmented, very bright and I am excited to try it. Um, the next thing I have is a mascara. It's a gosh one. I have quite a lot of gosh things. I'm quite liking gosh at the moment. Um, this is a extra extra large volume mascara and I'm using this today as well and it definitely is quite voluminous and I'm really enjoying this so far. Next thing I have is a concealer and this is a Maybelline one. It's a Maybelline Fit Me concealer and I've used this and it's a very good concealer but my own criticism, criticism is that it is not the lightest and it is in the shade Fair so I would have liked this to be a little bit lighter. Um, I think maybe in the future if I'm going to use this I'd probably use it on spots and then I'd use a light concealer under my eyes just so um, I'm not looking too orange or anything. Right, next I have a lip liner and I'm wearing this today, it's an Urban Decay one, it's a 24-7 um, glide on lip pencil and it is, oh I don't know what the colour is, it doesn't say, oh no it does, Anarchy, that's what it's called and I'm wearing it today. Um, I did eat a bit earlier so it's come off a little bit um, but when I first put this on it was very very bold and um, it's amazing um, that's what it looks like swatched next is a um, MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base Visage and this is just a little tube and I'm thinking that um, when my mum ordered those lipsticks that she probably got this as a freebie but nonetheless I really appreciate it okay next um this is a Ted Baker, I think it's a lip and cheek tint and it came with that other nail varnish I showed you earlier and I wouldn't really use this on my lips because it's quite chunky 
and I don't think I'd do a very good job at applying that well but I have used it as a blush and it's very nice and this is what it looks like and I'll just swatch this a little bit yeah there you go it's just a nice quite like dark but subtle blush and I quite like trying different blushes because um, because I'm quite pale I feel like I can try lots of different shades of blushes and experiment with them okay next we've got um, oh wait, I'll show you the other nail varnish first. I have a Barry M gel paint uh, nail varnish and it's, I don't know what colour it is, but it's a bright red, it's slightly glittery colour and I think this was like a, a freebie as well when you when I bought those eyeliner pencils. Um, but I quite like this and I really want to try it. <laughs> it looks really pretty. Okay, right. Next I'll show you eyeshadow palettes and then that's it. So first one I got is a Too Faced Natural Eyes palette and this is what it looks like inside. Ah! All of the colours are just gorgeous, like I just, oh it's beautiful. <laughs> oh my god, it's amazing. Like there's just so many different looks you can do with this and it did actually come with a little booklet and different looks you can try with it. Which I might use actually. I know a lot of people just throw those things away, but you know, I probably will use it. <laughs> and I think I particularly like the chocolate martini shade, which is the kind of coppery gold at the bottom. I think that's beautiful. And I like the white one, Heaven. Um, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's a really nice, versatile colour. And Erotica is also quite nice. Ooh, I'm sorry. Yeah. But this is just a gorgeous palette and I'm so happy I have it. I'm so happy I have all these things. Okay, so another eyeshadow palette that I got was a from number seven. It is a mini eyeshadow palette and yeah, I don't think that it has like a name or anything, but um, it has some really beautiful colours in it. And it also has a um, little brush with it. And this is like one of those brushes that you probably actually could use because sometimes you get really terrible ones in eyeshadow palettes. So I think I could actually use that. And that's what it looks like inside. Oh, so pretty. They're all quite glittery um, colours. I have one makeup item left. So many makeup items. And that is another eyeshadow palette. And this is from Gosh. And again, this came free when you ordered and you spent £10 on Gosh stuff because um, my dad bought it for me in Superdrug. And yeah, so this was free and apparently it's worth like £10, so that's pretty amazing that you get an eyeshadow palette for free, that's worth that much. And I used this a little bit today, although my eye makeup isn't particularly neat today. Um, I'm rushing a bit, but it is beautiful, I love it. I think it's a very like wintry autumn kind of palette. And I really like the uh, red coloured one in the middle that one because um it just seems like a very autumn kind of colour and that's what it looks like it is oh, it's just so beautiful it's amazing I love it right and it also has a little brush with it but can't get it out <laughs> yeah and it also has a little brush that you probably could use and that one's like the kind of one you use in your eyebrows but you can also use it like under your eyes and stuff and that one's like a slight blendy kind of applicator I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about. So I got a set of uh, nail files for my mum, which is, they're very cute, Jack, Will, Jack Wills ones, and that's good because my nails are often just a mess, a hot damn mess, and they're like all over the place, so I probably could have used some of these, so I'm very happy with that. Next thing I'll show you is mind blowing for me. And it's from my sister, and it's in an envelope. Obviously I've opened it before, but you know. Um, so they are tickets to see Marina and the Diamonds on the 21st of February. And in Camden, London. I'm like, oh my god, when I opened this I was like, oh my god, did you seriously get me tickets to see Marina and the Diamonds? <clears throat> if you don't know, Marina is like probably my favourite artist of all time. I love her so much and I can't believe I actually have tickets to go see her live. These aren't the actual tickets. Um, you receive the tickets 48, 48 hours prior to the event. And my sister just made these obviously so, so I know what it is. 
and I can't believe I'm going to see Marina. Oh. The only problem is that I don't have any friends that are like die-hard fans of Marina, so I have no idea who to bring with me. My sister said she'd go with me if I couldn't find anyone else, and because like I have friends that like Marina, but they're not die-hard fans. And if you'd like to really appreciate the concert, you'd have to be a bit of a die-hard fan. Um, so I don't know what to do about that, but I don't care because I'm going to see Marina. This is amazing. This is like. It's just like a bucket list thing. This is so good. So I'm so like happy. I'm so grateful that I got that. That's just such an amazing present. Something that obviously a lot of thoughts gone into. Um, Mum got me a cute little calendar um, for 2016. It is. She's gotten one of these for me before in the past, and I liked it then. And I like it now, and they've just got cute little poems about. Um, well they're like written to daughters and they're quite cute and sentimental and yucky but you know I appreciate it, they're cute in my eyes. Um, I'm not going to read them to you though because I'm not very good at reading things. Um, yeah I like the layout of this as well, I quite like things where they're like in blocks so you can actually you know, like write stuff in them. <laughs> so I got some cookie cutters and I do quite like baking. So I did receive a few other bacon things and yeah these are just really cute. Um, there was a star, a star one but that's missing because my mum borrowed it. And there you've got a house, a gingerbread man, a Christmas tree, a heart. There's just, yeah, just lots of stuff to make cookies with. Next I have a chocolate orange which is just like a kind of thing that you get every year. Like my mum always gets us like golden coins and chocolate oranges and stuff like that. But she forgot to get us golden coins this year. Which is such a scandal. But I think she made up with it and everything else she got. Next I have a little cranberry mini treats. Real e extracts or something like that. And this comes with a body butter. Which is in the pack now. And it smells so good. I really like the smell of cranberries. And it also... Uh, <clears throat> and it also came with a um, shower gel type thing, but that's downstairs in my shower, so you can't see it. Next I've got some cupcake cases, and they are so cute. These ones have got like little blue things on, these ones have got little hearts on, and they're just so cute. So I can't wait to bake some cakes in them. Ah. And next I got a giant set of things that came together, and the first thing that came in it is a pair of slippers. And I've been wearing these quite a bit and they're very white and fluffy and comfortable. Also in this set I got a um, jojoba silk and almond oil foot soak and these are a bunch of crystals and they smell really nice. It's like the crampy stuff but obviously they have a different smell and they're, yeah they're just crystals so I guess you just put them in a bowl and soak your feet in them. <laughs> That's going to look weird, but whatever. And next I have um, foot cream, which is great because I'm all about clean feet. And this has the same smell as the other one. Oh, and it looks like that, a gloopy liquid. And it's, it just smells so nice. So nice. Okay, right, the last thing I have. I think it's the last thing, is like another one of those kind of mind blowing gifts that you're just like, why did you get this for me? Um, it is a gift card for my mum. It is a um, £200 shopping gift card for Queensgate, which is the shopping centre where I live in Peterborough. And I can't, like, I honestly like can't believe that she got me all of this stuff and then she got me a £200 voucher. Like, I was like, what What are you doing, woman? Why would you get me that much money? That's insane. But, I don't know, my mum's just, she's amazing. She just does that. She just buys stuff and she's just like, okay, I'll spend that money then. I'll have a good time doing it. Apparently, I've got a £200 gift voucher and tickets to see Marina and a Diamond in this, like, and a load of bloody high end makeup. Like, what else could you want? Like, what more could you want? Like, there's not anything else you could want, really, is there? 
anyway i think that's how i will finish the video here um thank you all so much for watching please let me know what you got for christmas as well i am going to be posting a lot of new videos now i've got so much makeup to bloody play around with um so i'll see you later